and welcome to today's matchup between the visiting Nerve Hilltoppers and your Rock and Boxers. Please do your part by showing respect to everyone involved in today's contest. A friendly reminder that student athletes play the game, coaches coach, fans support their team, and officials manage the game and sometimes make calls that you may not agree with. With that being said, inappropriate behavior, language, taunting, or verbal criticism of coaches, players, and officials will not be tolerated and may result in your removal from the gymnasium. This game is being played according to the rules of the National Federation of State High School Associations. We would like to thank our sponsors for their support and generosity. Our sponsors are Spiegel Scrap Metal, Bethel Medical Group, Woodward's Auto Speed Shop, Madison Food Group, Brent Warren, Brockton Education Association, Sign Design, Exit Reality Plus, and Nikolai Oil and Energy. Now on to the starting lineup, starting with the visiting Turkey Hilltoppers. <laughs> Starting with senior captain number two, Jasmine King. <laughs> Junior number five, Gabby Frizz. <laughs> senior captain number six, Lauren Kucha. <laughs> Junior number seven, Alexis Lane. <laughs> Junior number nine, Mia Boone. <laughs> senior number 13, Kelly Montez. And junior number 14, Anisha Collins. Now on to the Brockton Boxers lineup. <laughs> Starting with senior captain number eight, Jasmine Payne. <laughs> senior captain number five, Nagazi Wilson. <laughs> senior number 15, Asada Senor. <laughs> senior captain number 18, Joy Hart. Sophomore number seven, Janaja Brendeo. <laughs> Junior number six, Ava Montero. <laughs> and senior captain number 14, Milani Napina. <laughs> At this time, I ask that you may please rise, move your hats, and direct your attention to the flag as we honor America with the flame of our national anthem. Hi everybody, welcome to Staff Gymnasium. I'm Dominic Damiano, joined by my partner again in our fourth year together, Miles Jackson, of course, the producer and director, Mike the Postman Simmons. Our first, our first game here at Staff Gymnasium is a girl basketball game. Miles, it should be a great one. It should be a great one, Durfee, coming in here at five and six. The box is coming here at three and seven. Only a game and a half separates these two teams. Again, it's an SEC rivalry. They go, they date way back even before the SEC. I look for a great match here between these two teams. Absolutely. All right, ladies and gentlemen, stand by for a Brockton High School girls volleyball. Should be a fantastic game. Did a little homework myself, just like Miles did. Hoping to give you more of these girls games. As we go out throughout the as we go throughout the season, and as you heard on the pregame, great job by the public address announcer, a young man at the high school. I apologize, I did not get his name, uh, because it's a, a regular season game. They're just going to have one official on the you know on the net. 
We're in high school, which I had the pleasure of doing Whitman Hanson last year. They usually have guys at the corner, well, refs at the corner, you know, marking the ball in and out. All right, so here we go. The toss is one, and that's, that's an ace. Wow, she just, caught it right there in the gray area on Brockton's side. Yeah, just like that. The first ace right there, one nothing. Durfee yeah, caught nice, Brockton. Nice she, serve there. Absolutely. And on the serve, this is Jasmine Kane for Durfee. They, Durfee trying to set it up. There's a line drive. They're gonna. I think I'm gonna say it was an open hand on the head, I believe, if I read that right. Okay. Two nothing, Durfee. The coach of Brockton High School in her first year, that's Emily Burke, the Hosford grad. Oh, there's a back hit. And just over there's a dump kept in by Durfee. They set it up. Nice job by the Lady Boxers. And just over that, but out. Nice uh, try. Yeah, just went out there for the boxes. No Wuso. I think if I got close enough, I apologize if I butchered that young lady's name. Three nothing Hilltoppers. Oh, she lost control. Nice try, trying to set that up. That was Brando. for the boxers, for nothing. Here in game one, we'll play the best of five. On the set line drive. And finally over the net. Hilltop is trying to set it up. Oh, and it falls short. That was a nice setup by Durfee's front line there to uh, find the open space to get the point. All right, five nothing Hilltoppers here. So far in game one, line drive, kept up, oh. And that's out. Yeah, I, think, I think that's a good time out by uh, first year coach Emily Burke to get her team refocused. Cause right now, Durfee with a six nothing lead, just taking advantage of all the opportunities that Brockton has given them. You know, there's a term they use in volleyball and it describes Durfee to a, a T. It's called in system. And what and out of system is what we're seeing Brockton right now as they're trying to regroup. And it's the way the it's the way the teams will rotate. And like you just said, Hilltop is up six nothing because because they are in system right now. Exactly. The coach over there for the Lady Hilltoppers, that's um, Kelly. Balu, I hope I'm Kelly. I hope I, I know I butchered your name. I apologize. All right, so here we go on the serve for the Hilltoppers. That's Jasmine Kane again. She is also the setter and the out the outfielder. If you're not the outfielder, but the outside fielder, as she sets up for her. And that's out. I'm gonna say, and Brockton's finally on the board. Six one, six one now. Hilltoppers. Yeah, the serve was just out of bounds over there in the left-hand corner of um, the boxers territory. Pang getting ready to set up for the Lady Boxers. Their first serve. And that's an ace right there, folks. Yeah, that serve fooled the Durfee player over there. She thought it was gonna go out, but Pang put a nice job in there and uh, put it in bounds for a point. 6-2 now Hilltoppers. Pang serve again. Trying to keep it, oh, and just like that. Yeah, Fang, he got, Pang's got a nice serve. Hilltop is yet to get comfortable with it. 6-3 now, here in game one. Another line drive. Durfee trying to set it up. That hits a net, oh, trying to do a block. A block spike and Losing control, nice try, nice try. That was uh, Joy Hart. She kind of lost her balance a little bit yeah. coming back on the ball. Definitely so. Like you said, that lost a little control there. 7-3 on the serve. Oh, and out. 
And if I were the lady boxers, I'd, I'd back up just a little bit more to that end line because Durfee has a good serve and they seem to serve it in the back area. 8-3 after that serve, Durfee Hilltoppers and there's Boone's second serve. Line drive and that's out. Nice decision by DePina to let that go. The lead is cut in half at 8-4 early here in game one. On the serve for the boxers, that's number five, that's no, so <laughs> I'm sorry, young lady. Oh, that's a drive. Oh, just a little yep. bit too much, too much mustard on that. Yep, just missed the um, line there. Nine four Hilltoppers. Beautiful day for some. <laughs> I feel like it's summer in the gym. My my glasses are getting foggy. <laughs> on the serve, setting it up, the bump and I, over the net on a little dump pass. On a spike, oh, kept alive by Brockton. Nice job there. Just over the net, trying to set it up. Brockton keeps it going, another set here. And that is That's good. in. Nice combination right there for Brockton, the Brockton player to just get it inside in that outside right corner of uh, Durfee. Nine five, that was Brockton in system right there. There's a line drive and that's out. Yeah, a little bit too much on that serve. Melina DePina, she said, if I could only have that serve back. back yeah. And on the serve for the Hilltoppers, who currently have a 10 5 lead, that is number three. That's Selena De per Pereira, her first serve of the game. Line drive. Kept alive by the boxers. And that's just out. 11-5. Brockton is setting themselves up nicely. They just can't seem to get that ball over the net and inbounds. Right now, a problem finishing. Finishing the play. 11-5 Hilltoppers here in game one. Brockton trying to set something up. Just a, oh, nice play. As Joy Hart finishes that for the boxers. Yeah, Hart did a nice job finding the gray area where the Durfee Hilltoppers weren't located. 11-6, DePina out, checking in for this serve is number four. And that's Santos. She's gonna go from the far side of the court, the opposite side on her serve. There's a nice shot. Oh, they, they almost, almost got Durfee out of system on that one. Now a little floater, oh, nice job on the kill! Yeah, nice combination right there. Brockton My, boxes set themselves up nicely for that point. I believe that was, I believe that was Eva, Eva Montero, number six. On the serve again, just over. Great job, let's see if they can keep it going. They just get it over. Brockton trying to set it up. Here's a set, and oh, and up, and out, and still kept in, oh, that hit her. Yeah, she caught one right in the 11, face. 11, 8 now. Has taken one for the team, that was not, that was um, Montanez. 13, yeah. 11, 8, Brockton cutting into this Durfee lead. Here's the serve. Trying to set it up, there's a bump. Hit the net. 11-9 now here in game one. Ladies boxes making a little comeback here, Dom. I believe that's a 6-0 or a, at least a 5-0 run right now for the boxes. Another, another set. Tr bump, the set. Kept alive by Brockton. Just over. Good job by the boxers. Oh, they were going for the this bump in the kill, but it came back at it. Nice play by the Lady Hilltoppers. Yeah, just earlier, the boxers, uh, DePina, number 14, made a nice save. They just couldn't quite capitalize. That hit the net. 
I believe that's her first serve. Uh, Kucha, yep. Brockton has cut the lead to two, 12-10. And getting ready to hit this for the boxers is number one. I apologize, I do not have her on my, oh yeah I do. That's Shields, sorry Miss Shields. Now over the net. They set it up. Nice, oh, what a nice. play! That was a nice setup and, and nice execution over there in the corner. 12-11 now. I believe that was number five with the shot. Nawusa. Now Durfee. Durfee had a big lead at one time. I believe they had an eight point lead. And that's yeah, too much English on that one. I'm sure she'd love to have that one back. Yeah, too much English as we like to say in backyard volleyball. <laughs> And on the serve, for, here is Lane, Alexis Lane for the Lady Hilltoppers. Kept alive and setting it up, and that's too much, again, too hard. Yeah, that's, that's two in a row right there. It's just too much. She's got to bring it downward and yep. not straight across. If you bring it downward, it's just tougher for the opponent to. It to, is, and what I mean, it's so for us, to, yeah. so easy for us to be the uh, yeah, yeah. sideline, <laughs> sideline judges, right? But these girls are trying. Oh, a little miscommunication there for Brockton, and they brought their lead up back up to four fifteen one. Timeout, timeout boxes. Yeah. I'm gonna clean my glasses. Yeah, good, good timeout by Coach Burke, uh, because the last three points, Durfee has um, capitalized on those three points. Where Brockton, they were, like you said, they were only down by two, came True. all the way back, was down by two points, and all of a sudden they made some crucial errors on these last three um, exchanges. And what we were trying to say for people watching back home, if you can picture Miles and I, we are like the number one fan of Lady, vol lady Girls Volleyball here at Brockton High, so we're like those, uh, those critics that think we know everything, and, and it's so hard to see the girls trying to play it and we're, we were commenting earlier on how the girl hit it too hard. I forget which boxer it was, but she's trying to get over that player. But to us, it's like, just hit it a little softer. Just hit, but I'm not the one with this girl in my right, face, right. you know? All right, so here we go as we come out of the break. 15-11. Um, so, so it looked, they just went on a four point run. I believe it's four points coming out of this break. And it looks like the boxes are the same with the same crew, and so are the Lady Hilltoppers. 15-11 coming out of the second timeout. Here in game one. That's hit. Smartly knocked over. Hilltoppers trying to try to set that up. A little dump, and just in front of the net. Uh, that was a nice, cute move there by the Durfee Hilltoppers player. She found the gray area right on the other side. Absolutely. Made a nice shot. Again on the serve, his lane, Alexis Lane for the Hilltoppers. Line drive, hits the net. And the lead is four. So checking out is number 14, that's Depina checking in. I, I wanna get that lady's name right, I believe it's number 15 for Brockton, that's Sonor. Oh, no, that is a block and a kill right there. Yeah, that, that 16, was 16 13. Nice play there by number five, I believe, Nwusu. I learned that on YouTube driving in here. <laughs> All right, setting up for the serve. Is that eight or six? Number six. Number six for us. Montero. Montero, and there's another point. And this is what the lady boxers need to do. They need to make a nice little run here. Get at least about five point, six point. Put some pressure on the Durfee Hilltoppers. Mo Ava Montero again, line drive hit. Oh, and it's out. Brockton has cut the lead to one in game one. I, th I think that that particular serve, a little high. I think the Lady Hilltoppers possibly could have let that go. It possibly could have went out, but great, great serve to, by... Um, Montero. Yeah, Montero. Oh, now that's out. Smartly played that by time this, yeah, yeah, she smartly played it. Back to a two-point lead, Dom. Yeah. 
At one time, we were down by seven. So the lady boxers show a lot of heart. On the serve, nice serve. And and a little miscommunication between the two back Definitely hitters. Definitely so, there was some miscommunications there. But give kudos where kudos is due, number two. Yeah, that was a beautiful serve. Jasmine Kane, and that is considered an ace. Here's a second serve after the one. Now these boxers try to set it up. There's a dump, oh, nice job. That was a beautiful dump, she didn't spike it, she looked across the net, saw an open spot and took advantage. All right, so uh, um, so Santos checks out and Hart back in for the boxers. Off, oh boy. Oh, definitely miscommunication there. The backcourt player um, passed it up front, but there was some confusion. Here's Pang again on this serve. Nice recovery. Brockton keeps it alive. On the kill. Gotta say that, Boy, was, that out. was close. You know, I you know what that poor guy up in the chair, the official, he's trying to see every angle. There's a there are bodies blocking you. And uh, you know, hats off to Emily Burke. She has to be the most easygoing coach. And keeping it going, what a great play. Brockton, oh nice try. Pang. And Depina almost collided towards us, and I think that's what dropped, stopped Depina's motion. Yeah. Because she saw a pang coming Dang at right her. There. On the serve. Brockton trying to get it over. They do. Now, trying to finish, and that's a block and a kill, and we're that, down to two. That was a beautiful block. Was that number 18, I believe? I believe that was, yes, sir. Hart. Uh, Joy Hart. Nice play there. Getting her hands and arms right there at the net. Shields out. And Brando back in for the Lady Boxes. 2018 in game one. Brockton cut the lead to one. It's a very critical point right here, Dom, for Brockton to get this to tie it up. I think we got to win by two. Yes. Big serve coming up, and who better than Nawuso? There's a shot. Kept alive by the Hilltoppers. Trying to finish. Still alive by Brockton. Pang! Little dump pass, dump shot. Hilltoppers trying to finish as a block. They're going to say Brockton. That was a tough call. That was a tough but, call, yeah. But, but, but I believe the referee made the right call, but I, I wouldn't want to be him. No, not at all. Yeah, that was a tough one. Kane thought it might have got deflected last touch by a boxer. As you, oh. 21-20. Very competitive game here in the Southeast Conference. And when you get down to 20-20 um, tie, you can ill afford to make mistakes on the serve and just give a, give a point back to the opponent. Ferris now in. She has a chance to end game one off this serve. Line drive, kept alive by the boxers, just over the net, dumped, oh! Nice play there by the Durfee Hilltoppers. Found the gray area. Oh, 25, I'm sorry, they played 25. Game's to 25, okay. I apologize, 22-20 now. Thank God for Mike the Postman Simmons. There's a shot. Oh, that's in. She just yeah. That just that was just. I think the players were telling her it looked like it's going to go out. It was a gamble. Yep. And she took it. Unfortunately, it fell away for the Hilltop as they lead us three twenty three twenty again here in game one. Farris again on. On the serve for the Lady Hilltop is again 23 20. That's out. Lead is back down the two. Brockton could technically go on a four point run. They went on a seven point run midway through this game. Off the serve. 
Trying to keep it alive with the Hilltoppers. Trying to set it. Good job by Anuso. Keep it alive. Pang trying to get something going. A little tip and blocked. Oh, and they're going to call it over the net. I believe that was called over the net. 24 yeah. 21. Yeah. That was a very critical point for Durfee. All they need is one more point to um, win this match. And, and, as and long as they keep it more, by two more, two points or more. That'll set up Pereira. She has a chance to end game one. On this set, line drive. Setting it up. Pang now. This is a little bump pass. Kept alive by the Hilltoppers. Trying to get over that net. Nets out. Brockton stays alive. Lead is two. Yeah, I'm sure the Durfee Hilltop would like to have that one back. Just a little bit too much. Joy checks out and serving as Santos. And I think Santos has a couple aces already. That was a line hit, a line set up there by her. Little pop, Brockton keeping it going. Pang trying to set it up. There's a little pop, kept alive by the Hilltoppers. Right on the net, a little top, oh! Oh, nice Great job, read. nice decision by number four, Santos, to let that go. Santos again. Oh, keeping alive, that almost fell short, got him out of rhythm. Oh, great job by the boxers, trying to finish it. Durfee trying to catch their system back. Brockton in rhythm and in system. Santos, Durfee keeping alive. Little late reaction from the Hilltoppers. Oh, oh that could have went out, that go. but it was so hard. We said that before, there's a little shot. That's just over the net. Hilltoppers trying to finish. Kept alive by the Brockton. Pang setting that up. There's a shot. Kept alive by the Hilltoppers again. Right over the net. Pang, one more time, a little dump. Yes! Oh, what a great volley back and forth by the two SEC teams. Timeout, timeout, Durfee. Coach Kelly does not like what she sees. What a great rhythm by both teams. Brockton took advantage at the end. They have a chance, both teams, I think, do they have to win by two? They got to win by two, so we're at least going to 26 as we go into this timeout. Yeah, both teams did a great job on that volley to save a lot of shots on both sides. Made, some, made it say some great diving plays. And uh, fortunately, Brockton came on top. The days I should have worn my contacts. Oh my God. Well, that's where you get when you get a fat head. I mean, you know. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Brockton has come down that one time they were down by seven. They came close to ending the game, they were down by four. They battled back to tie here, first time out for the Hilltoppers. Here in game one, we're all tied up at 24. He's Miles Jackson, I'm Dominic Damiano, production director, Mike the Postman Simmons, as we put the ball back in play, and who else but number four, Miss Santos. Her shot, trying to set that up. There's a little bump. Kept alive by Brockton. Pang now. And it's alive, still in the air. Oh, and they got one back. Great job finding the gray area at Brockton's end. That is called an angle line hit because it was angled in towards the middle of the field. Yeah, that was a nice play by the uh, Hilltoppers. Karam checks out and checking in is number nine. Boom, we haven't seen her for a while. She might actually be hurt because she's yes, grabbing she's, her lip. I think the ball might have hit her face or something. Now we're going to test. These two teams are definitely evenly matched. It's going to come down to endurance. Who can, uh, who's, uh, who's in better condition? Who can, pay, who can focus more here in game one? It's, it's really hard to tell. Right? It's really a toss-up in this first game. Here on the serve, line drive serve. Awkwardly hit, kept alive by the Hilltoppers. Hit the net! Boxers one point away. Yeah, Boxers have a chance to put this away. Shields. 
Here we go. There's a shot. BMC trying to keep it going. Little tip, that's out. Hey. Brockton win games one. Definitely a great win for the boxers. As you said, they were down six, seven points during this uh, game, but they kept resolved, kept their uh, composure, and came out here with a big first win this evening for the um, boxers. So they'll switch sides as they get ready to, as we get ready to have a break here as before we start game two. Oh, we're gonna do a stretch, we'll be right back. Yo, are you following this group text? No, what are they saying? Katie keeps sending Adam memes over and over and Adam's responding with the funniest captions. Can I see? Nah, dude, you're driving. I'm the PT this time, remember? Yeah. <laughs> there they go again. Why do you need both our phones? Why can't you just reply with yours? I need to be fake Neil. Well, real Neil's beginning to feel a little left out. Wow, these memes are really funny, guys. They are indeed, Keegan, but not as funny as the jokes you make. I don't sound like that. No, you have a point there, Neil. I especially love to make jokes about you. Okay, all right, this is getting a little out of hand. I've got this group texting a lot. I just want to know what they're saying, okay? One word. You feel the FOMO hard now, don't you? Here, man, tell me a good joke. I'll do it for you. Make it seem like you did it. Okay. What does a nosy pepper do? What does a nosy pepper do? Question mark. Get jalapeno business! <laughs> That's my best joke. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Staff Gymnasium. I'm Dominic Damiano, joined by Miles Jackson and the producer director, none other than the man, Mike the Postman Simmons, as we get ready for game two. And I want to straighten myself out because I was corrected by the producer. I was referring to usually Miles and I are doing the basketball games here. Now we're starting up with a volleyball game. You'll catch us this winter live on the Brockton Access TV channel doing VHS girls and boys basketball, but we're here doing the Southeast Conference girls volleyball game. <laughs> and I'll tell you that first game that we just witnessed was very exciting. Oh my God, so to much fun. Where the boxes came out, 27-25, just to show you how it went back and forth as it got up to 21. Boxers never had the lead until like the producer told us, it was not till near the, oh, very close to the end of the game. And then play with just like that, ladies and gentlemen, here's game two. And Brockton takes a one point lead. With any good team, you gotta learn how to put these guys away early. The thing with Durfee is they had a lead, they just ran out of gas. Good coaching, oh, there's another shot, we're back in play, I apologize. And that is oh. a block and a spike. That was a beautiful play by number 15. Who was that? Oh, I'm sorry, number, not other, not number other, 15. that's uh, Sonor. How do you, S-A-N, oh, Sonor. Yes, Miss Sonor. That was a great, like you said, great block, and then she put it back over the net. Setting it up again, Pang this time, a little dump, oh, too much. And she knew it when she touched it, 2-1 now. It looks like she was a, a little bit too much finesse. Yeah. Trying to just tap it and it ended up going downwards on her side, on the I'm glad side. she did that. That would have hit me in the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Off, off the initial setup here. Pang over the net. Durfee trying to keep it alive. Down by one. Oh, and a dive by Pang. Lady Hilltop has found the gray area. Uh, Fang, Pang. Dole for it, but she just couldn't quite. God bless her, full extension. Yes. Tied it two here in game two. On the serve, here's Kane. Brockton setting it up. Pang now to the setter. Joy with the shot. Durfee trying to keep it alive. They set it up right out. And Brockton takes a 3 2 lead here in game two. Yeah, good decision there by the backcourt to let that go for Brockton. 
This girl's turning into my favorite player, her and Pang right here, number five, Nawuso. Here's her serve, line drive, and that's out. Just a little bit too much. And that's what we saw when they when they had that big, when they coming out of that hole in game one. And we talked about it, and, we, and I think we explained it to the audience back home, you know, don't put too much mustard on the ball. Exactly. Took the words right out of my mouth, a little bit too much mustard. On the serve, oh, what a nice try, trying to go for the kill. And now off the net, and um, Ferris knew it too, she said she, she could tell from her reaction, the way she hit the ball, that she just hit the ball too late. Yeah. Yes, Sandor was right there, possibly a little intimidation, she was right on the net. On the serve is the Pina. Keeping it alive, just over the net. The Pina again with Pang, trying to set up. Kept alive by Durfee. A little floater. Oh, great job done by De Pina. Oh, and a miscommunication between Joy and Pang. You know what I love about these girls on both sides? Even if they make a mistake, they laugh it off and they go have some more fun. Yeah, definitely good sportsmanship towards each other. Tied at four here in game four. Ferris, line drive, hit the net. Brockton gets the ball back in the point, 5-4. Yeah, I think she got a little lazy there. I know she didn't mean to do it, but you have to stay focused that whole time when you're serving that volleyball. Now Santos, she has a couple aces, I believe, in game one. Line drive, just over the net. Oh. oh! Nice job there, they found the gray area. I think. Brockton was surprised that the ball wasn't set up on Durfee's side. She just hit it right over back to the uh, Brockton boxes and they just couldn't quite handle it. Tied at five here in game two. On the serve for the Hilltoppers. That's Pereira. Pang. Kept alive by Durfee. Just over the net. Oh, and. Getting a late jump, that was Montez. Montero. Was that Montez yes, for Yes, that was job number six, Montero. That was a nice job. The oh, junior. Absolute, absolutely. 6-5 boxers. On the serve, that was Shields. And that was in. Yeah, that was just in. Good call by the referee. Tied at six. And on the serve, that's Kusha. Pang setting something up. There's a shot, but out. Too much again. Yeah, but I'm they sure know it. Montero would like to have that one back. She did not get the volleyball down. On a serve again. Pang just over and out. Uh, you don't <laughs> see that too often from Pang. Nope. She's um, Eight, pretty six. accurate. But she, she also is a setup person right there in the center. Yep. Oh! Almost like she was just, she was. Yeah, I think Nabusu fell off balance kind of. The ball took a weird spin. Here, off the serve. Pang. No, so a little dump. And Ooh, in. Nice shot right there. Durfee, the Lady Hilltop has decided to let it go, see if it went out, and it actually stayed in. 9-7 here in game two. On the serve, Montero. Kept alive, that was called a dig. Oh, and almost oh. another dig by Montero, falling short. No, that wasn't Montero, that was. That young lady, that was Shields. Yeah, nice job by Lady Hilltoppers to find the uh, um, gray area on the boxer side to score that point. On the serve, here's Lane, very talented player. 
Line drive. Setting it up. Oh, and we're seeing exactly what happened in game one. 11-7. Brooklyn has not found their groove. Yeah. Nwusu, she, she used one hand to try and bat it over. I, I, I think that's her style, but. A little I, late on the mechanics. Yeah, I, I think if she could have got both hands on that ball, she would have had more control. This is off the serve from Lane, just over. Oh, and another miscue by the boxes. That's two miscues in a, so in no. a row. Boxes um, in a five-point deficit. Timeout, timeout, Brockton. The good thing about this game compared to last game, Brockton's not in that big of a hole. They get more than enough talent and, and you know ability to dig themselves out of it. For as far as the Lady Hilltoppers go, right now they are in system. They are everything's every, all the everything's. I mean, the coach, the coach is sitting there probably seeing little little things there. But as far as I mean, they got a 12-7 lead. It's going right right now for Hilltopper girls volleyball. Yeah, they they. Just like the last game, they, they looked like they had the momentum going and everything. Then the, what happened was the Lady Boxers settled down, focused, and uh, made some um, great plays and uh, got themselves back in that last game and uh, won it. How come nobody's drinking any water? I would have passed out with a calf injury already. <laughs> they would have had to roll me off the court. I don't know. They always say hydrate, 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 right? Hydrate, yes. All right, coming out of this break, 12-7, Miles Jackson. I'm Dominic Damiano. Mike the Postman Simmons, the producer and director here, helping us out on this Friday night as we start game two. 12-7, Hilltoppers. Serve by Lane. Payne trying to set it up. Little O at the net. It's in another point, 13-7. They've extended their lead to six, 13-7. This is Lane, I believe this is her fourth serve. Just over, oh, and tried to dig it out, but couldn't finish was Nawusu. Yeah, but Nawusu, Nawusu reacted a split second too late. She couldn't get to the ball in uh, Durfee's point. Lane again on the serve. Dapina just gets it over. Dapina again to Pang. Little dump kept alive by the Hilltoppers. Still going right over by Ferris's shot. Pang again for Brockton. And that's, oh, Je Ooh, that looked like that was in. Yeah, it, it, at first I thought it looked like it was out, but too much mustard yeah. by uh, Nubusu. Lane A again. too much mustard. 15-7 now, Hilltoppers, here in game two. Her serve, Nawusu plays that perfect pang, trying to set her up, line drive, and they get it back. Yeah, I think we lucked out on that play. Yeah, it caught Lane off guard. Yeah, she, I, I, if Durfee would have just let that go, that possibly had a chance of going out, but it was in Brockton's favor, so. All right, so Brockton has a chance to climb out of this hole, 15-8 here in game two, as Pang gets ready to serve it up for the boxers. There's a nice shot, setting it up, and out. Good job by the boxers, knowing where the court is, and they right away, they said out. 9-6. Box is doing a good job of communicating so far. 15-9. Off the serve, trying to, oh, there's oh, a block. Beautiful. Oh, kept alive by the Hilltoppers, great job. Pang now setting up, Dapina for Joy, just over, still kept alive. Pang knocks it over, and that's out. That was a beautiful position, um, served back over the net by Pang. Absolutely. She, she saw the open spot in the left-hand corner of Durfee's um, court there and um, made the point. Yeah, nice saw play. the open real estate and put the ball there. Saw the open real estate. Lane back over for Brockton. Brockton, Pang. Joy. Oh, that's out. Yeah, just a little bit too much there for Hart. Yep. A oh, Hart, Joy Hart, I'm sorry. Yeah, Pang, Pang set her up nice. He just couldn't 16, finish it off. 
16-10 here in game two. Hilltoppers off the hit, off the net. 16-11. And now Wusso. Any complaints of your name's call? And that's out. Oh, she did it again. Yeah. 1711. Any any complaints, please contact Mike Simmons at 77. <laughs> Off the serve. Fox is trying to return. Hart. Oh, kept alive. Oh, and just out of the reach. Nice try by Dapina. Yeah, she dove for that one. She put her body out for that. Timeout, timeout, Brockton. 1811 Hilltoppers. And we're almost in the same position, just maybe a point or two more when um, Coach Burke called a timeout when they were down in that first game. And uh, I don't yep. know what she said to him, but they came out like gangbusters. Absolutely. And um, made a great comeback. Yep. All right, so we're getting ready to come out of this timeout. Eighteen eleven, coming out of this Brockton break here in game two. Off the serve. And this is Boone. Oh, way up in the Raptors and out of play. That I was, don't think Nawuso knows her own strength sometimes. Yeah, I, I would agree. That was a great serve. Had a lot of um, power to it. It was not much um, the Brockton player could do with that. Now Boone again on the hilltop herself, way out. Wow, she boomed it out of here. She did boom it out of here. She'll check out. And checking back in, that's... Um, Kareem for the Hilltoppers. Up to serve by Depina. Right over. Oh, it's just uh, over the one. Wow. Pang again. Yes. Nice, nice setup by Pang. She's a great setup. She really um, is. Artist out there setting up her teammates for some good shots. Here we go, Depina again, 19-13 Hilltoppers. Trying to stay off the fence. Right off, right, oh, sorry, right off the, uh, the net, I said the fence. I get reprimanded by the producer on that one too. <laughs> off, good job, nice shot, just over. Lane trying to keep it going. Oh, and a miscommunication. Miscommunication. They are what they call being out of system. Here's the Pina's second serve. Lane. And just over that. Oh, I thought oh, that was going yeah. out. Pang trying to set it up. Here's a shot. And out. Yeah, that was a tough break for the boxes. I think they could have let that last ball that was returned by Durfee, let it go, and good chance it would have went out of bounds. But nope. it's tough. It's it tough is. when you're in the heat of the moment. Exactly. Ferris on the, just over, kept alive. They're gonna say she was over the exactly. net. Exactly. Ref was right on that one. The lead is four, 20 to 16. On the serve for the boxers. 
is Miss Santos. Checking out is Miss Hart, and I didn't get that number checking back in. I apologize. Off the serve. Oh, off the net ball goes back to the Hilltoppers at 21-16. Yeah, that, that was an unforeseen error right there. Lady boxes oh. can ill afford to uh, give up an easy point like that when, when your um, opponent is in the 21 area. That was S Santos coming in for Miss Hart for Brockton earlier. Let me show you get the substitution right, Pang. Oh, just over. Hit twice. 22-16. And setting up the serve, that's Pereira for the Hilltoppers. Again, 22-16 here in game two. Pang, the setter. And they get the ball back. Down by five, 22-17 in game two. Yeah, nice play there by the Lady Boxes. Brando out, Shields back in and Shikara's serving. Yes! That was a great serve because she served it over in an area where the, the Hilltop player was away from that line. Change the score, there you go. Don't make me mad on that score, 22-18. On the serve. Lane trying to keep line. Little miscommunication. Just over the net. Depina. And out. 23-18. And Karam checks out, oh, lost the ball, 24-18. This is point right here, right, Dom? Yeah, this is chance for point and game right here in game two. Here's the serve. Pang. Oh, great and decision right there for the Lady Hilltoppers to let that go. And Durfee takes that second game. They do with a 25-18. And we'll be right back. Woo! The Great American Road Trip. Just me and my best friend, Keegan. Ain't that right? Yep. Hey, I've been working on this new move. It's called the, uh, it's called the Double Dab. What I think the cool kids are calling it Double Dipping. Nice. Hey, uh, how come you didn't have work today? Oh, whoa, whoa, man, I'll get it, all right? You just focus on the road. I'll be your PT. Keegan, it's your boss, and he's wondering why you're not at work. I called in sick. Apparently you didn't. I texted him. Apparently he didn't get it. Maybe I didn't have service. He seems peeved. Peeved? Who says that? But that's not the point. The point is, is that you didn't call in properly. That's irresponsible. What are you, my mom? I had it on my to-do list. Yeah, I hope you don't get fired for this. As my PT, I'm going to need you to cover for me. Are you asking me to be your excuse guy? Isn't that what best friends do? I thought Adam was your best friend. If Adam were my best friend, then he'd be sitting right there in that seat texting my boss. Okay, all right, all right. How's, how's this for an excuse? Doctor's appointment. Too cliche. Your house burned down. Way too intense. Your dog threw up? Not intense enough. Impromptu camping trip. Honest, but that would definitely get me fired. Car probs. We could work with that. Okay. Hey, send one of those cute cat memes with it too. He has a soft spot for animals. Done. You're the best. I'm gonna turn this up. This is my jam. All right, so here we go. You ready? As we get ready for the third set, tied at one. Each one has won a set apiece. And here's Kane now. So this, basically, this is the rubber match right here. Yeah, gotta, gotta win, gotta ooh, win ooh. Uh, best of, best best of, of five. Best of, best, best of five. five, oh, okay. Gotta win three sets. We could be here for a while.
Here's the serve. Shields, that Pang just knocked it over. That was a little dump. On a little, oh! That was a heads up play by number nine. That was a heads up play by number nine. She Ms. saw Bullen. a little open space over on the Brockton side and put it exactly where she needed to. Heads up play, one nothing in the third set early. And here's Kane's second serve. There's a shot. Oh, oh, nice shot. That was a kill, folks. Yeah, that was a nice spike, I believe, by Nwusu. Yes. Now, Pang on the serve, tied at one and set three. Laying on to Kane, and that's out. A little bit too much money for Ferris. She put a little bit too much must on that. Brockton takes an early 2-1 lead in set three. Pang again on the serve for the, for the, uh, for the boxes, excuse me. That's up, Kane. Boone hit the net. Brockton's up 3-1. Yeah, nice job by Brockton. Lady Boxers to defend the net right there. Now, I've played volleyball, and, and that can be intimidating. You're right there on the net, and your opponent is right there, hands up. Dapina, little Nawuso. Kane to Ferris on the finish. Oh, and they, they catch Pang off balance. 3-2. That was just a great shot where she put that ball. Not, Pang really couldn't do too much about that shot. Just great um, position. Here with 3-2, the serve by Boone. Dapina keeps it going. Pang trying to set it up. Now Hart kept alive and... Oh, what a play by that young lady. They're gonna say she hit it twice. Yeah, that was, that was a nice shot there. Saving shot by the uh, Lady Brandau, Boxer. Brandau, Brandau, Nice shot by Brandau. Four, two boxers here in set three. Nice shot, that's what Nawusa wanted to do. Kane over the back. Nawusa, Pang, little floater. Little miscommunication, little dump. Kept alive! Oh, can't finish! That was a beautiful save by um, Pang, but there was no one there to, it was still a little bit low, but she did a great job saving that, that point right there. Very competitive here in set three. 4-3 Brockton. That's up. Brando. Now back. Oh, just out of reach of the Pina. Great sh shot selection right there to put it right there in the gray area on Brockton's side. Tied up at four. Farris on the serve. To Pina. Oh, lost her balance. Just over. Kept up by Nuuso. Pang to Hart. Her that looked like it was hit twice. I guess not. Kept in. Just over the net, Pang keeping it going. Setting it up again, Hart over the back. Oh! oh! Off balance, just tried to get it. Couldn't finish, 5-4, Durfee. Here in set three. Yeah, tough battle going on by these two teams. Farris on the serve, Brandau, Pang, setting up Brandau, kept alive. Ferris trying to keep it going. And that's out. We're tied at five. Yeah, good decision by the Lady Boxers to let that go out of bounds. So Sonor checks out. And what number? On the serve by DePina. Brockton takes an early 6-5 lead in third set. Yeah, I think there was a little miscommunication there for the uh, Lady Hilltoppers. 
Depina on the serve. Gonna say it was on the line. Yes. Seven Durfee, five. Durfee decided to let it go, figuring it might go out. Kane, Lane gets it over. Now Wusso, a little bump, kept alive, trying to keep it going, but it's out. Good job by Durfee to have the hands up. I'm surprised there's not more collisions in this sport. 7-6 Hilltoppers. On the serve for the Hilltoppers. That is number three. Pereira, line drive, Brandao. They're gonna say she touched it. Tied at seven. I'm not she sure what the infraction was. It was close. Either that or a hand went over the, over the net. Yeah. It's hard to see from our angle. Pereira again, tied at seven. On the serve for the Hilltoppers. Nawuso, Dapena. Brando couldn't get it. I think she misread that one. Yep. I believe she thought it might have been going over the net. All right, here we go. Another serve by Pereira. 8-7 Durfee. No Uso. Hart. Brando. Brando, excuse me. Kept alive by Kane. Trying to get over. Depina keeps it going. Pang setting it up. Oh, just too much. Yeah, she, she got down on the ball, so it went downwards and uh, got caught up in the net. Looks like she's hitting the ball late. Then again, I'm no volleyball player, <laughs> but 9-7 Durfee. Off another serve. Brandu. Nawuso gets it over. That's out. Nice touch there by Nawuso to uh, tap it gently back over the net. Nine, eight, Hilltoppers. As Miss Shields will set up for the serve. Off the serve, Lane. Pereira. And she totally lost her focus on that one. Yeah, I think she should have used both hands and kind of knocked it over with her hands cuffed. Just, you could tell she was a little bit off balance. Yeah. But you're right. It, and it was too far back to try and hit it with just one hand. Tied at nine in set three. Depina, Pang, Brando, just too much. Yeah, Pang set her up nice but she couldn't quite take advantage. 10-9. Off the serve, hit the net, tied at 10. Right now, as I'm looking out on the court, Durfee has a kind of a smallish team for the moment. Brockton needs to take advantage. Brandau, off the serve. Lane, keep it going. Kane trying to set something up. There's a tapper, just over. Trying, oh, trying to catch him off balance. Yep. Nice try. Oh, caught him off guard right there. 11-10. That was a real cute move there by Pang to try to catch him off guard. Yep, You know, absolutely. just kind of knock it right over the net, let it drop in. Here's Brandau again on her serve. Pereira, Kane, back to Payne, just over the net. Kane's trying to set something up. There's a shot tipped. Still alive. Oh, Ooh, just that was close. That, that was close. That was definitely up, but that was close. Tied at 11. When that girl gets that down, she's going to be dangerous. Yeah. I mean, I know they got 10 games in, but the kid has the ability to do it. Heck of a try. Tied at 11 here in set three. Brendau, Pang. 
Just over, kept in alive. Now Lane trying to do something. And Brockton's ball tied it. Brockton served 12-11. Yeah, yeah, definitely you could see the Hilltop was a little confused right there. They weren't quite sure who's gonna take it. Brockton take, that, take advantage of that all day. Montero on the serve for the boxers. Lane, and that's out, and Brockton extends the lead early here. 13-11 and set three, time out, time out, Durfee. Well, that, that's a good time out for Durfee. The boxers are in a position they haven't been in the first two sets with a lead early on in this um, volleyball game. Yep. I think the coach for Durfee basically called the timeout. She didn't want it to get too out of hands. So maybe she felt a little momentum on the boxer, lady boxer's side. So she called the timeout, spark timeout, and uh, emphasized to her team what they have to do to, uh, to not let this thing get out of hand. You know what, I know we got a PG program. I can tell you exactly what she said. She said, what are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> you can read a lip from here. All right, exactly. come on, you know? And she had every reason. They're definitely not in service. They are, they are out of service. They're all over the place. And coach knows it. 13-11 here in the third set. And Montero will set it up on the serve. Lane, Kane, Ferris kept alive by Brandau. Trying to finish. And they do. Yeah, that was nice um, team sport right there on that um, play, on that point that Brockton got. That's hard work right there. Good job, 14-11. Off the serve. Kane trying to set it up. Just trying to get it over. Pang setting up a teammate. A little tip. Kept alive. Trying to get it over. Oh, and a. Uh, nice job by the Lady Hill Toppers to put it Great right there job. where Brockton could not get it, get to it. And that was Miss Boone get, keeping that going on the serve. I believe this is King. This is Jasmine Kane. As Jasmine will set it up. Off the serve. The Pina just over. Kept alive. Nice job right I there. I could have sworn her hands were over the net, but what do I know? 14-13, Brockton. Tough call for the referee, but nice job by the Lady Hilltoppers to stay with that. She Exactly. She did what she had to do to keep the, get exactly. that point. Good for her. Off Kane serve. Brando. Nawuso, that's blocked. Kept alive by the Hilltoppers. Lane trying to get it over. Can't do it. Boxers lead is two, 15-13, yeah. here in set three. Nice job by the Lady Boxers being real aggressive right there on that particular play. Now Pang on the serve. 16-13 in the set, that's an ace. No, oh, it hit somebody, it's not an ace, I'm sorry. It's a point, though. It is. There's another point, 17-13. Right now, the Hilltop is a little bit discombobulated on Brockton's serve. Pang doing a nice job getting it over there. Pang again for the serve. To the net. Trying to finish, kept up by Depina. Pang trying to set up for Nowuso. Over the net, kept alive, just over. Oh, what a great job by the boxers. Kane, and it's blocked. Depina, and just over by Pang Lane. Nowuso setting it up, now that's a setup. 
There's a little dump in the corner, kept alive by Kane. Miscommunication with her. Nawuso. Brando. Hart trying to get it over, back to Lane. Trying to finish, Ferris. Oh, and nice out. job by the boxes. Quite a volley right there between the two teams. 18-13 in set three. And here's Pang serve. Kane again, trying to set up Ferris. Back, and Hart just knocks it over. Kept alive by the Lady Yale Toppers. Just over. Pang again to Pina, to Hart. Oh, and Hart, oh, and Hart just didn't have enough on it. She yeah. tried to just soft touch it. But nice defensive move by the Lady Hilltoppers oh, right there to get the, the, uh, the um, finesse touch by the Lady Boxes, but she was right there, had her hands up, and it came right back to the Lady Boxes. They couldn't now handle Boone. it. That's an ace. Lead is three, 18-15. Hilltop is looking to get back in this ball game. Now Boone on the serve. Oh, nice call. Oh, that was a that great, was great decision by DePina to at the last split second to let that go. That's because she knew exactly where she was on the back line right there yep. and made the right decision. Now Uso on the serve. That's in. Ooh. That's an ace. You know, the Lady Hilltoppers knew that she was back there and she's made some errors on serves earlier, but she got that one right in there. 2015. Here in set three. She loves to do that. They're just over. Kept alive. Pang now. Oh, beautiful shot right there by number 15. Sonor. Yes. The light touch over the net where nobody could get to it. 21-15, Brockton in set three. Yeah, a little bit too much mustard. Again. When, when you got a six-point lead, you don't want to give up, give up points like that, easy points. 21-16 now, off the Ferris serve, kept alive, Hart just over. Kane on the touch, Pang, to Pina, to Hart. Oh, oh, not enough, and she knew it. Lead is four, 21-14. Again, Hart, he possibly she should have used two hands on that particular. Ball has some spin on it. Off the serve, Brandau. Ooh, that was close. That was close. 21-18 now. Lady Hilltop, our almost player, almost had her hands over the net. Ferris off the serve. Nawuso, Pang, Hart, just gets it over. Almost a miscommunication, trying to get it over. Nawuso, oh, and Pang and DePina were not sure there for a second. Exactly. Timeout, timeout, Brockton, 21-19 now. Yeah, well, Durfee, Durfee making a great run to get back in this game. Yep. And right now, with a 21-19, it's anybody's ball game. Absolutely. Everybody, welcome back as we come out of this first time out here for Brockton in set three. 
21-19, Brockton, as Farish gets to set it up. Brockton needs to dig deep down and keep this lead and get out of here with their second, second uh, set of this um, series against uh, the Hilltoppers. Sonora checks out, and it looks like Montero's back in. She is for Brockton. Oh, and that hits the, the Pina. The lead is two. And that's what the Lady Boxers cannot afford, is just to give those points away on the, on the um, bad serve. Pereira checks in, and I apologize, we don't have number 14, but she checks out for the Hilltoppers. And there's Pereira's serve. No Wusso. Pang. Setting up Brendau. Oh, just too much. Brockton looking for the... Uh, the illegal same, touch. Yeah. That she had her hands over the net, but it didn't look that way to the referee. 12-21. 22-21, excuse me, in this set. Brockton gets that back. Yeah, that, that's a big... Big point right there for the boxes. Now with a with a two point lead, and they only need two points to take this set. Here comes Miss Shields. Off her serve, just over, and nice, oh, nice play. play by Montero. Yeah, nice play by Montero to get that ball in the back of the court because set point. 24-21. Yeah, the backcourt of um, the Hilltoppers was up too close. Brockton win sets three. You know, that, that, that's a big win for the boxers right there because they didn't let, let the Hilltoppers actually get back really into the game or tie the game. Let's just say tie the game because they was down by two points, one point, but they held strong and came out of there with their second set. 25-21, does that sound right? Yes, yes. So the boxes are up two sets to one, and they're one game, one set away from winning the game here in this Southeast Conference matchup. But I tell you, it's, it's been a real battle on both sides. Um, Brockton has settled down after that um, their first win. They've settled down. Now they got two wins in a row. Well, actually, nope. They took the first set, lost the second set, and now they won the third set. Exactly. Winning the first set coming from way behind, 27-25. Yes. BMC Durfee comes back with a 25-18 and winning set two. And just now, the boxers win set three, 25-21. Now, Coach Burke knows that this boxer team can come back from adversity, but she doesn't want that to happen too much. She wants Brock, the lady boxers, to command the whole set here and try to get out of here um, with a um, victory over Durfee in this next set. They don't want to have Durfee win this set, and then it's tie-tie. Yeah. 2-2, two, two, then it's anybody's set. Maybe we can get an interview with Coach Burke after the game. It's a possibility. You want to do it? Well, if uh, if they win, it's going to be tough only because they'll be happy and excited and they'll be talking. I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right. All right. Is that possible? We could possibly we ask the director, producer. That's possible. <laughs> what a look I just got. If looks could kill. <laughs> talk about I your... Talk about your, your <laughs> Your, 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 your little brother that hates you look <laughs> I just got. Oh, my God. All right, he's Miles Jackson. I'm Dominic Damiano. Mike, the postman Simmons, a producer and director. As we get ready to give you the fourth and Brockton's hope in the final set here on a beautiful Friday night. And the temperatures are starting to change next week, folks. starting to turn. Yep, that's always beautiful. Yeah, Coach Burke, again, 
wants to win this next set and get out of here quickly. Right now, they have the momentum, but they don't want to give the momentum back to the Lady Hilltoppers. So I'm sure she's emphasizing to communicate while you're out there on the court. Make sure your um, your um, your your serves because you don't want to give too many serves away because if you mess up on a serve, that's a point for the other team. All right, so here we go. We can start the fourth set. Brockton leads two to one. Two sets to one. Pang to start this. To start this serve. Actually, we're waiting for. Um, They just had a quick change. Lane just came in for Durfee. And just like that, it's one nothing. That was a beautiful serve because he just got over the net and it went low. Not much the Lady Hill toppers could do about that point. That little girl, she's dangerous on that serve. Here's the second one. Trying to set up Ferris. Dapina, Pang. Nawuso with a block, but still made over the net. Trying to make something on net. It's net, two nothing Brockton. Boy, that was a beautiful play by Hart. She just put her big long arms up. Ball got to her, but it went right back over to the hilltopper side. Nice, nice point right there by the uh, Lady Boxers. There's another serve by Pang. And they're going to say that was out. Yeah, that was a good decision right there by the Lady Hilltoppers. Just went out. Pang had a nice run going there. Now Kane to set this up. Her first uh, serve in this fourth set. First serve for the Hilltoppers in the fourth set. Now Wusso. Pang. She got that one where she wanted, she just couldn't finish it. Keeping it going. Pang. Lane. Kane trying to set up Ferris. Still kept alive. Dapina. Nawuso will just knock it over to Bowen. To Boone, excuse me. Just tipped over. Oh, and almost kept alive. Good heads up tap there by that young lady, number 14, with tied at two. Yeah, that was a nice heads up play right there by the Lady Hilltoppers to find that little gray area over there on the um, boxer side. Kane serve, Dapina. And they're gonna say she hit it twice. Hilltoppers, I believe, are a an early three, oh, we're tied at two. I'm sorry, I thought it was a three, two there favor. We'll take it. Pang now off that serve. No Wusso, oh, line drive. I'm telling you, that girl's dangerous when she gets that rhythm down. Yeah, a lot, lot of strength in that <laughs> volley over to the net. Nothing the Hilltoppers could do about that. Aaron Judge couldn't hit it that good. Now there's a score. Now we're tied at three. There we go. Now that's right. Three, three. Off Nowuso serve. Going for the Ooh. ace. Just a, that was a Serena serve. Just do it 15 more times. We're going home. <laughs> four, four to three. 21 more times. All right. I'm asking for a lot. That was, she is very, very talented. Here's her other serve. Over the net. Pang. Oh, and Ooh. just out. Like you said before, heads up by Durfee. Watching yeah. that line with tired at four in set four. Boone shot. Nawuso keeps it going. Pang trying to set up. Hart's little tapper and out. Five four. Lady Box has got to keep that ball in play. Let uh, let the Lady Hilltoppers make the mistakes. Boone off that serve. Pang trying to set up for Brindow. Saved by Boone. Lane trying to get something going. Pereira tries to get it over. Now Depina. Pang last minute. Back to Depina over the net. Back and forth they go. Off the net. Kept alive by Brandow. Just tipped over. 
Pang just gets it to Lane over the net. Back and forth they go, little tip, and it's out. Nice volley there by both teams. Excellent volley. You know, it's so easy for us to judge how they're doing. I mean, you gotta have split second timing. I mean, you don't really have time. To, you, you hope you have a good idea where the line is. Off the serve by DePina. And that's blocking oh. a spike by Brockton. Yeah, nice job by Hart to get herself up there and block that ball coming back over and it went back on the uh, hilltop side. 6-5. And the DePina serve. Little tip. DePina keeps it alive. Pang now trying to set up Brandau. And they're saying oh, she, say went she over hit the up, net. Yeah. Also, it looked like a, the Brockton boxer's feet, they went over into the other. You, your feet can't go over that black line. That must have been the penalty, yeah. Yep. yeah. I, I, I was too busy watching the upper body, not paying attention where her yeah. feet were. Off the serve, tied at six and set four. The Pena. Oh, miscue. Pang saves nice. that. Lane. To Kane. Ferris kept alive, but out. She went low for that, but she that was did. very close to going she out. Tried to dig that out. Yeah. She did the best job she could. Hard ball, off angle shot, trying to get a position. 7-6 in the sec in the fourth set for the Hilltoppers. Lane serve. Just over. Nice job. Pang now trying to set up heart. Just gets uh. it over. Girl has the touch when she wants to do it. Yeah, she has the touch, it's all right. She touched it right at the spot where the uh, Lady Hilltoppers could not get to it. Hart checks out, in, in comes Shields, tied at seven. Off her serve, Kane, off the net. Oh, nice play there. It almost hit the television studio. We almost got into the action. Uh, only on T, only on Brockton Access TV, folks. Eight seven. Off the serve, Lane now. Kane, there's a block. All kept alive. Depina, and now is Brandau's little toss. Lane trying to keep it going. Little communication back on the Brockton side. Pang again, trying to set up. Wow, she almost had a three-pointer and yeah. got a point <laughs> up in the that. rafters. Nice play by the Lady Boxes. We were just saying, we thought it was gonna go be a three-point shot, go through the net and then off the serve, 9-7 Brockton. Just over, kept alive. Not enough, Montero couldn't put enough English. Nice defense by the Hilltoppers. And checking back in for the Hilltoppers is number three, that's Pereira, Selena Pereira. 9-8, Brockton in the fourth set. DePina keeps it going. Pang now, M Montero just over the net. Yeah, beautiful job by Montero. 10-8. Put a little mustard on that. Return and nothing uh, the Lady Hilltoppers could do. Brendau now. Her serve. Just not enough mustard. Seen that a couple times on both sides. Off the serve that hits the net. 11-9 here in the fourth set. Yeah, and number six for the Lady Hilltop is she's having a tough time serving that ball. At least three or four times she has uh, botched the serve. Yeah, Miss Kusha just has to work on her mechanics. Yes. Kept alive, Kane. Pang for the kill. 
Oh, and just out. You know, and Nwusu, she's tall enough where she needs to work on getting that ball to come down a yep. little bit earlier. Because if she can get that down, it's gonna be tough to return that 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 um return of hers. Because she's got so much strength in the um return. Off that serve, 11 10 here in the fourth set. Just over. That was a nice touch spare by Santor. Santor. Shields out, heart back in. And Pang the serve on the fourth set, 12 10, Brockton. Oh, Ugh. she got a lot on that one. That was a nice serve by Pang. 13 to 10. Oh, not that time, 13-11. You don't see too many miscues by Pang on the serve. Kane's serve, Nawuso, Sonor, and the leaders won 13 to 12 here in the fourth set. Yet Lady Hilltop has fought their way back. Kane on the serve. Just over, Nawuso, Pang, on the, oh, and it's out. Tied at 13. Pang to Hart, Boone saving that one. Kane helping out, back to Boone. The peanut blocks that one. Oh, and a miss, just not enough. And the Hilltoppers take their a lead 14 to 13. I believe at one time they did have a lead in this set. Kane now, our first serve, not over. The lead is two, 15-13. Yeah, those those, those kind of shots, they're tough to, when they're on that net, you just don't know what's gonna happen with that ball. Yep. So it looks like we got a timeout. And I believe Brockton called the timeout. Wow, seven, seven nothing, Dartmouth over Brockton. All right, coming out of that timeout. All right, again, he's Miles Jackson. I'm Dominic Damiano. The man, Mike the Postman Simmons doing the producer and directing as Kane gets ready to serve that ball to Brockton. She gets the point right back, extending the lead to three. Yeah, and Usu should have been back a little bit further. She was a little bit too close and had to retreat to try and return that, and it was just no way. 16-13, here's her serve. Sets it up, Pang. Sonor, just over, kept alive by the Hilltoppers. And I'll, and right now, we are not in system with a four point lead, 17-13 Hilltoppers. Yeah, the Lady Hilltoppers got a little run going here. Another serve by Kane. Brindau, Sonor keeps it going. Lane, Kane. Ferris blocked, just over Hart, but out of bounds. Tough break right there for Hart and the Lady Boxes. 18-15. Here's a serve. Oh, the peanut couldn't handle it. 
19-13. Yeah, nice serve right there by Lady Hilltoppers. Off the serve. Dapena. Sanoa. Kept the line by Boone Kane, trying to set up Ferris. Kept the line by Dapena, but she couldn't handle the. You're exactly right. Um, she just couldn't handle that hard return by the Lady Hilltoppers. Timeout. Timeout. Brockton, 20 to 13. Hilltoppers here in the fourth set. Yeah, this is a good good timeout by. Uh, Coach Burke, she sees that her team is down by seven points. The Lady Hilltoppers have 20 points. They need, just need five more. So we'll see what happens. It'll be interesting to see how Brockton comes out and responds after this timeout. Absolutely. Down by seven. All right, here we go, back to the game. <laughs> 2013 here in the fourth set. Again, 2014 Hilltoppers. As Kane sets the serve again, she does. No Uso. Pang. And that shows some life right there. 2014. Now what the Lady Boxers have to do, they have to make a little run. Maybe get two or three points. Off the nice serve, Boone. Pang. Brendau tipped, Lane trying to keep it alive. Boone just gets it over. Depina, oh, miscommunication. Yeah, definitely miscommunication there. And Depina knows it. I mean, excuse me, Sanor, number 15. There's Boone to serve it up for Dart. And it hits a net. And that's what Brockton Audrey. needed right there to get that ball back. Now they need to capitalize and get a few points here. 21 15 here in the fourth set. Depina, oh, she never got it over and she knew it. She just tried to just get it over. It was a great idea, but she couldn't finish yeah. it. Twenty-three, fifteen. If she could, I think the penis should have gotten in front of that and then used her arms to get it back over the net. But easier said than done when you're up here. Absolutely. Laying on the serve. The Pina. Pang. Anuso just gets it over. Lane trying to keep it alive. Kane gets it over his backs. Brockton setting up again. Montero. And she does. Twenty-three sixteen. Shields coming back in for Brockton. Hart will take a break. Off her serve. Kane. Little tapper. Oh, oh, just enough. That was a beautiful shot by the Lady Hilltoppers for her to find it in the gray area over on the Brockton side. And this could be set point here and set four, match point here yeah, in that, uh, that. That was a big point right there by the Lady Hilltoppers. Set four. To make it uh, match point right here. If they can finish it off. And oh. that's it. And that, that'll that do it. it.
BMC wins the fourth set, 25-16. And um, just uh, as, as far as Brockton and the negatives, they, they gave up too many easy points on when they were serving, and that's they're going to have to work on that. Yep. Um, besides that, they did a great job um, going back and forth with the volleys. Pang, she's just unbelievable as far as setting oh, yeah. her, play, her players up. She looks like she might be one of the best in the, in the uh, southeast. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And on the other note, big hats off to their set per person, J Jasmine Kane, number two. She's been doing a good job over there on the Dart on the uh, I keep on saying Dartmouth. I'm thinking of the football game tonight. The Durfee Hilltop is Lady Hilltop is great, great setup person herself. And, and as far as um, one of Brockton's key players, and she just has to get a little bit more um, playing and getting used to her strength is Nuwusu because uh, I, I can see a lot of uh, potential there for that young lady. Absolutely. So it's now it's tied up. So this is the rubber match this right is here. It. Set Tom. five. It's almost like they know they're on TV. They want to do a good job tonight, you know? You know, I think I like this car better when there are just two people in it. Just saying. Now your other friend Adam here. Come on, Neil. That's no way to treat our guests. You guys, I can go home if you want. I don't really need to be here. No, to do that. it's okay, Adam. It's fine, really. Hey, at least let me be your PT, all right? Got it. Got it. I wasn't talking to you. Neil, be nice. Hey, Neil, I was thinking just because you're PT all the time, could I give it a shot? I mean, just this once. Up to him. He takes this job very seriously. Rock, paper, scissors. Best two out of three. I'm seeing three unread text messages from your mom. She's looking pretty concerned about your student loan situation. Also, we have three unread emails and a week from tomorrow we have a doctor's appointment 4 p.m. in Valencia. Lastly, oh yeah, I'm seeing lots of subscription emails. I can easily unsubscribe you from please, those, yeah. archive them. Okay, 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 okay. great job, Adam. Can I have the phone back now, please? No, he's doing great. Let him keep going. Thanks, Key, because I won't let you down. Everybody, welcome back. Miles Jackson, Dominic Damiano, and... Mike, the postman, Simmons, producer and director. We get ready to give you set five. Tied at two, two sets apiece. Oh, this is it. This is a rubber match. This is it. First one to 25 wins. The 15. Oh, I'm sorry. The 15 because it's, 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 um, the it's 15. tied up. Yep. Oh, that, that even that even puts more pressure on, on the young ladies. Yep. It just goes to 15. I forgot about that. Not a lot of room for error, Don. Nope. One nothing Brockton. Pang serve. Oh, Two nothing nice Brockton. serve. L Lady Hilltop has thought that was going to be out of bounds, but it fell right in front. There's a serve. There's a set person for Boone. Kept alive by Brockton. Hart, oh! Hart and Pang almost collided. Yeah, I think Hart got distracted. Pang was coming at her a little bit and she kind of backed off on going after that volleyball. Two to one here in set five. Kane serve. Hit the net, Brockton gets the ball back. And when the game is to 15, you can ill afford to uh, mess up on the serves. On both sides. No, so she can get that, that mean, 
that means serve going. Here it is. And yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Nice job by Lane, though, just over. Oh, and Pang desperately tries to keep it in, catches it off balance. It's 3-2 here in set five, Brockton. Yeah, that was a great return on the serve by the Lady Hilltoppers. They keep that ball alive, and they took advantage and got the point. Sanoa, Nawuso tipped. Lane keeping it going on the net. 4-2 Brockton in game set five. Nice job by the Lady Boxers there. Sonor checks out, Montero checks in for Brockton up front. The Pina's Pina. gonna have to make a good, good serve here. And she does. Lane, nice save. That's way to keep it alive, Montero. Lane and Kane trying to do something for Brockton back out. Oh, nice job there. Five two. By Montero. Found the spot in the right-hand corner over there in the Lady Hilltopper side. Here's the penis serve just over. Kept alive by Lane. Farris trying to do it. And a miscommunication yeah, between. Def her, yeah, definitely yeah. miscommunication right there because the uh, Lady Hilltopper who went after shouldn't have gone after and, and let her teammate that was right behind her get that one. That was Kucha trying to help out Ferris. For the Hilltop, it's Kucher again. Depina keeps it alive. Pang doing what she does. Brando, yes. Oh, nice job there by Brando. Brand, is that how you pronounce it? Brando, Brando, Brando. 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 Nice job by. Make uh, sure all complaints, Brockton Community <laughs> Access TV goes to Mike <laughs> Simmons. It's kept alive. <laughs> oh, and so oh, kept alive save. by Pina. Just over, Dapina, Pang, Montero. Oh, she just got it over wow. again. Dapina, great volley, Hart now. Anuso. 7-3. Uh. You can see the tension. The girls were so happy and go lucky in four yeah. sets. Yeah, I think now, that was a little bit too much pressure on Nuuso to, to uh, Nuuso to uh, return that ball. Unfortunately, she returned it right into the net. Off the serve. Pang. Montero, saved by Kane. Setting it up. Nawuso, Pang setting it up. Brandau, kept alive. Lane trying to get it over. Nawuso, Pang again, just tried to fool him on that. Lane she keeps sure it did. going. Just over, kept up by Depina, Pang again. Brandau, and still alive by Kane for Durfee. And now Montero. Whoa, what a great set by both sides. Just over, oh, and they couldn't finish. Tough break right there for the boxers. But good position with the ball by the Lady Hilltoppers. On the serve, here's Lane. Just over, back over Anuso. Trying to make it out, that's off the net. It's Brockton's point. Nice job by the boxes there. I think the Lady Hilltoppers, might, their foot might have went over on that black line in center court. So we're halfway through, they'll switch. Eight to now, four. I'm learning something new right yeah, there. Too. I should have remembered, one year, that one year Whitman Hanson went on that run three years ago. I followed them all the way to the state sectionals. You figured I'd, I'd have a clue. I thought you would have had a clue, Don. Yeah, old age. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. But I remember it was these Hilltoppers three years ago that knocked off the Lady Panthers in, in Durfee. Off that serve. Oh, it's right at the net. Just a little tap. Nice job keeping it alive. Kane trying to keep it alive for her team. Just over up the fence. 9-4. Box is right now with a little bit of the momentum. They need to just to keep carrying that momentum to 15. Off the serve, that's... That was Shields, just over. Depina, great communication by the boxers. 
Montero kept alive. Great teamwork by the Hilltoppers. Oh, and she couldn't get her forearm going. We've seen that by the boxes all night. Yeah, and that's two in a row for number 14 to not return it into boxers territory. And uh, boxers got two points there, so they're up 10 10 4. In this fifth set. Well, this particular set, the box is doing a good job serving the ball. Yes. Haven't made any mistakes, I don't believe, so far. So if they can just keep this up and less mistakes, they give themselves a, an opportunity to win this, uh, win this set and win the game. It's a big time out for the Hilltoppers. They got to dig down deep, being down by six. And again, this game only goes to 15. All right, as we come out of that timeout. Off the serve. And that's out. And that's their first. Serve mistake right there. In I hope I didn't set, jinx yeah. them. No, no, jinx no. Them. You just made some great points. Well, if we lose, I'll say it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> 10 5 Brockton. Boxes, yeah, boxes need this ball back right here. Off the serve. De Pena. Pang. Little floater by Montero. Oh, they're going oh, to say she was over. They're going to say uh, Montero was over the net. 10-6. Tough, tough break by the boxes. It's getting serious now. They're not hugging as much as they did in the first four sets. Neither side. They want Each side wants this game. That's out. Oh, good good choice there by number 14, DePina. Looked like she was going to do it. In there, and I think she heard some... Uh, Coaching over there on the sidelines. Let it go, or let it go. Or let something it go, like, yeah, yes. something like that. Maybe Too our deep. teammates. Yeah. 11 6 here in, in the fifth set. Nice shot. That's going to go uh, out. See, that's they can't afford to do nope. that. Not when they got a, a, a four point lead. They got 11 points on the scoreboard. They really need to make this error free and get this set and get out of here with a win. Carmen out, Boone in for Durfee. Montero. Trying to set that up. Kane just gets it over. Oh, nice, what a nice spike. Kill. Nice spike by uh, Nwusu. 12 7, set up perfectly. Sonor checks back in. DePina takes a break for Brockton this time. I mean, when Nwusu gets her spike on like that, nobody's going to return that. No. Montero. Kane just gets it over. Almost thought it was Brandau off the net. Just kind of fooled the Lady Hilltopper on this. Great shot. Just kind of tight roped the net. Dribbled over and got and they got the point. Montero, 13-7 here in the fifth set. Boone. Oh, nice save. Kept alive by Sonor. Anuso trying to keep it going. That just over the net. Still kept alive by Lane. Trying to get it over. Shields. Sonor. A oh, beautiful play by the boxes. They kept their composure. It went back and forth. Good, good play on the side of Lady Hilltoppers. But Brock did a better job and came out on top. Our first game ever in four years. We pick a dandy to do. A dandy. Montero now, trying to end it. Kane, right over, kept alive. Pang, Anuso, oh, just out, nice try. Just out of the reach, or just out of eight. bounds. Again, if she can get that, that spike to get it in the middle towards the back, she'd be unstoppable. Unfortunately, all the pressure on Durfee, 14 to eight, Anuso. 
just over. Kept alive, Kane just over, oh. still just alive. Pang, Onuso, in, the ball game! And the boxes! The boxes, lady boxes, come out on top. Kept their composure with the lead, didn't fold under pressure, and comes out of here with a great win over Durfee. Maybe we can try to get an interview? All right, so we'll step away. We're gonna try to get Coach Burke. Okay. You and her, we'll get her down here. We'll be right back. Hi, everybody. We're back. I'm with Coach Burke. Coach, great win. What do you contribute that win to today? Thank you. Um, I just contributed to the girls really following what I'm asking them to do and yep. working hard and really sticking together as a team. Um, so if we have any let ups, they're there for each other and I give them so much credit for that. So Now were you worried yeah. about the first set? We were kind of worried when they had that big lead. They showed a lot of heart, came back. Yeah, definitely a little bit worried, but they've been good this year about coming back from big um, deficits like that. Yep. So I know they can do it. It's just a matter of keeping them level headed. So. Yeah, Coach, a little great scary. job. Great Thank job. you so much. All right, your final. Brockton takes takes three out of two in this Southeast Conference win. We'll be back with more after this. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're back with Miles Jackson. I'm Dominic Damiano. What a great win tonight, huh? Just, just a great effort by um, the Lady Boxers to stay in there. Don't lose their cool especially on that last set there where it only went to 15 points to rub a match. Absolutely. And what heart there in that first set combined, at least by seven, maybe even eight at one time. But uh, unbelievable. They win at big Southeast Conference win tonight. Yeah, and Brockton's coach got to give her credit. In them early sets, when Brockton was down a lot, she called timeout, and they seemed to respond to whatever she said in the huddle. They came back out and definitely came through with a victory. Absolutely, he's Miles Jackson. For Mike, the Postman Simmons, producer and director, I'm Dominic Damiano. We'll catch you at our next game. Everyone have a fantastic weekend.